Hi guys, uh, Sam and Christy here today. I'm uh, just going to go over a few things you can do in pairs or small groups. Obviously the regulations have been lifted a little bit so you guys are ready to go and do some dry line training or to go and play on the, the fields themselves. Uh, we're close to having the suspension lifted from Canada Soccer and Alberta Soccer so hopefully we'll be able to do some proper training soon. But in the meantime, here's five or six things you can do, like I say, in pairs or small groups to really help you touch, your shooting and your long passing as well. Enjoy! The first activity is a simple two-touch passing game. From within a 5x5 five five box, you and your partner must pass the ball to each other, keeping the ball inside the box at both times. If you control the ball with your left, you must pass with your right, and vice versa. First person to put the ball outside the box loses the point. First to ten. The second activity is simple hit the crossbar. So for winning a box, you and your partner have three or four goals each, trying to hit the crossbar as many times as possible. Move the box wherever you like to add different variations to the shot. First to five wins. As a progression from hitting the crossbar, now add a jersey or a penny of some description to the crossbar and try and hit that. You'll find this is much, much harder and will take a lot of patience to make sure you hit it. Try and make the jersey as baggy as possible so it actually hangs into the goal, giving yourself a realistic target like you would a free kick. The next activity is perfect for strikers. Place five balls ahead of five cones with a cone about 10 yards away which you must start from every time. The two balls on the left you must strike with your left foot, the two balls on the right you must strike with your right foot and the one in the middle you can decide. Take a touch and make sure you hit the target. For added accuracy, you can place objects inside the post, probably about a meter inside, and ask the player to hit inside those. Every time they hit inside the target, that's worth three points. A goal itself is worth one point, and obviously no goal is worth no point. See how many you get. The next activity is long range shooting, ideally for those outside the edge of the box. Have a partner pass you a ball, better than that one Christy just passed me, and you must take one touch to control from in inside the box, the second to finish. If you score that's worth one point. You can also finish first time, like this one, and that'll be worth two points if it went in. Count your scores after 10 goes and then rotate. As a progression, now ask your partner to chip the ball into the box rather than pass. The touch must stay inside the box, unlike my last example there, before you get the shot away. For added accuracy, place a shoe within a metre of the post, giving the striker something to hit inside. If they do so, double the points. You can also move the box to any area of the edge of the penalty area you would like, as to where the player of passing the ball is in as well. And to finish, everyone's favourite activity, trying to hit the crossbar from halfway line. 